Hello everyone and welcome into another Howdy joint ho! movement DPT's video <laughs> vlog something. <And> something. <laughs> today we're actually pretty excited because we're going to get to go to the National Bison Range. Finally. Finally. Yes. So it's been closed the whole time we've been here since March and it was strongly recommended from um, Megan's grandparents who have traveled in this area and lived in this area. And really, it, everyone's <clears throat> kind of said, well, yeah. before you leave, make sure you check out the bison range. Yeah. So, um, it's finally been opened. I don't even think their Facebook page or their website says that it's open, but from local hearsay, <laughs> it's been confirmed that we can go drive it. The um, picnic table area is not open, and there's another like visitor center that's not open. But we can go drive it, see the animals see what we want to see so we're excited hopefully we see some bears bison longhorn ram big horn big sheep, horn sheep. <laughs> maybe um, some mountain goats yeah and I so hope, but it's gonna be kind of hot so yeah what's nice is that they do have a driving loop and so that's mm -hmm. probably what we'll be on and then maybe pull over and do some filming um we don't have a really fancy, nice, like, Canon camera lens, so hopefully we can get some good footage of the animals, and hopefully they're not too far off. Uh, but we'll see. We're really excited to like try it out. Yeah, it might be little animals. miniature animals. <laughs> um, no. But I think before we head out, though, we Are haven't a road soda? we haven't done this in a while. I think we need a road <laughs> soda. <laughs> it's so funny you were thinking about that because I was too. Woohoo! Road soda! Oh yeah. Hashtag road soda. <laughs> All right, let's go. Please, I, I want to drive. Ah. Road soda dance. <laughs> Road sodies. Ooh. All right, so we have made it to the bison range entrance and it is open. The gates are open. There's people coming out. We even saw like a whole herd of bison on the highway on our way here. So it's gonna be good I'm excited I'm so glad we get to see this my grandparents were saying we needed to stop by like it was the first thing they brought up so I'm excited I'm kind of bummed we didn't bring a picnic lunch we left later in the day because Ryan was working and we ate while we were at home but now that it's open even though picnic centers aren't open it is a great idea to just come here drive around bring a picnic lunch sit in the back of your car like parked on the side of the road or eat while you're driving and see things and just enjoy the day and plan plan your food out because hangry people doesn't make for a good time so we're gonna go in and see it Oh my gosh, Megan. <laughs> Look at it. Out there in the trees. There's a huge elk up here. I'm going to try to get a good view of it for you guys.
So due to COVID, they actually have the visitor center closed right here. And it's a perfect, nice, shady spot for our friend, the elk over here. Crazy, huh? We're maybe like a fourth of a mile in. <laughs> We're already getting to see some really awesome wildlife. Megan's way down there, staying, staying a nice, safe distance. He's huge! You're watching my back, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he's so close. And he's got like tree trunks growing from his head. Crazy. And he's literally at the visitor, visitor center entrance. That's amazing. Like right behind that wall, right where the elk is, is the visitor center front door. He's enjoying it being closed. Definitely. He's looking at you. Oh. <laughs> All right. I want you to know we're a safe distance away. We're not like crazy people trying to get super close. No. Megan would never allow that. <laughs> so as you guys saw from our elk friend over there, they got a lot of elk here that grow some really big antlers and they actually have this cool little setup behind me of an antler tree and so each winter the elk shed their antlers and then the ones that are dropped the park rangers round up and put them over here in kind of this antler tree and it's just amazing living how bone. yeah how big they are yeah they're living bone that grows out of yeah their and then head. once they're done growing their blood vessels contract and restrict all the way back down and then it becomes antlers and then they shed them at some point i don't know why why do they shed them they just do. Survival. And so they grow that antler rack each year. That big yeah, old thing, which amazing. is amazing. While the visitor center is closed, um, they're not staffing it because of COVID, but they do have a little metal box outside of the visitor center by one of their informational um, stands. And it's $5 for just a normal vehicle. Um, and you just fill out an envelope and put your cash or check in and then put it into the box. So it's on your honor system, but we're enjoying the beautiful views and we're so glad that this has been kept and preserved and that we can see amazing things here. So we're paying our dues and um, we're gonna enjoy it. I think we've already got our money's worth and we <laughs> yeah. haven't even left the visitor center to see that big elk. And Whoa. I think, ah, happy. Oh, I think maybe we saw a bear. Like, <laughs> on the drive, the On the drive in, Megan was like, Something what was that black thing? I didn't see nothing, and maybe it's a bear. It might have been. Maybe. Maybe. So, we'll see. I thought I was driving. Oh, Megan's driving. I'm filming. So it's paved up to the visitor center, but then if you're going to do the actual, drive the actual loops, then it's all gravel road. Um, they're nice, well-maintained gravel roads, so I, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable to do it with a small car. Um, there's no, like, deep ruts or anything. Mm -hmm. Uh, but just know that you're going to be on gravel, which you're going to be driving nice and slow to see wildlife. So it probably doesn't matter too much. They don't allow motorcycles, bikes, no. ATVs on, on the loop trails. So right now we're on the West Loop Trail. Um, it's a, the first offshoot to the right of the main road. So we're taking this one and then I don't know what we'll take next, but we didn't grab a map. Yeah, we should have grabbed a map. <laughs> when you come into the park, there's a, a Y in the road. And if you go right, you will go on the longer trail. It's about two hours. And if you go left, it's about one hour. Um, but it's actually attached to the trail that goes right. So if you go right, it takes more time, but you'll end up seeing both trails. Um, and if you end up going left, but you want to see the whole park you're just going to see something two times double time um, if that makes sense so go right if you have two hours and you want to see the whole park and you won't have to come back around and go down that 60 minute trail because it's all together in one
just kind of following, <laughs> we're staying a safe distance, but we're just following this buffalo up the mountainside road because there's nowhere else to go. He's just walking right in the middle. We can't pass him. We're like the first in the line of a bunch of cars though. So we'll just keep following him at a safe distance until he moves out of the way and we can get past him. This crazy. He's crazy. He's huge. And he's just chilling. And yeah. I feel bad for all these people behind us. But I do not want my car to get rammed. Yeah. I paid too much for this soup. <laughs> what do you think? Oh my gosh. I should not be the driver in this situation. Hey, you're kind of freaking out. Well, I just feel bad that I'm like holding up traffic, but we've got a great view of a bison. We're not holding up traffic. That guy's holding up traffic. <laughs> I'm like, what if he just turned around? Just stop <laughs> and go to the non-cliff edge. Yeah. Wow. What a li wildlife experience so far. What, it's been like 30 minutes? <laughs> And we've as, seen a huge that. elk at the visitor center, and then now this buffalo is leading the charge on the mountain road. Yeah. We just got on. And I guess we'll just wait until he can, if he pulls off on the side of the road, he's not showing he's going to have his blinker on anytime soon. Uh, I don't want to just, like, push him over because he can, like... Yeah, he, like, weighs as much as our car. Or more. So, we'll probably just kind of hang back till he decides what he wants to do. This is his buffalo road, or mm -hmm. bison road. Don't really know the difference. Great views though from up here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Woo! What a thrill! Oh my gosh! I was getting rammed off the road, man. Woo! Oh, that was a lot of pressure. Oh, okay, we did it. Everyone's happy now. That was a huge traffic jam. <laughs> So as we're going through this beautiful park, we thought we would pull over on the side of the road as we can see these beautiful views of the valleys and the valley floor, the mountains in the distance, and then the little road that we kind of just zigzagged all the way up as mm -hmm. we're going through and looking for wildlife. Yeah, so we wanted to take um, a little time to give you an update on what's going on. So my contract just ended this week on Tuesday and now I'm working from home full time making up a job for myself. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we have a couple exciting things that we're working on. So um, that's actually been keeping me busy and it's been a lot of fun. It's also been nice because we work on stuff usually after we come home from our full work day. So it's nice for me to have some set aside time and for Ryan to get to relax um, after work. Um, but yeah. he has about a month left of his contract mm -hmm. and we're trying to work out the details right now of what's gonna happen after his contract. Yeah, so with travel therapy, there's always this time where you're switching contracts or you're finding your first contract and it is hectic. Like, mm -hmm. we won't lie to you. It's probably one of our least favorite things about travel therapy is just how hectic, um, and you just and it's just because there's a lot of logistics you got to nail down, and so yeah. it's just a busy time, right? And so we're talking to multiple recruiters. We work right now. We're currently working with three different recruiters, and they have been awesome. We love each of the three companies, and each of our recruiters really work hard for us. Yeah. And um, but they're they're working so hard. They're trying to find us jobs. And then they're contacting us and then we're seeing like, okay, is that possible? Can we go to this state? Would this state be okay? Is there any jobs available? Mm -hmm. um, and so we're and juggling then, that. And then once they have that, then they're like, okay, do we want to submit for that job? Mm -hmm. And after you submit, then you look at trying to schedule an interview. Well, then you're interviewing with multiple places. 
Yeah, and then we had the question of do we want to stay, do we want to go, do we want to definitely find two jobs since I'm not working, do we, are we okay with taking one, and with how the market yeah. is right now, it's just all is kind there, of a big question mark. Yeah, is honestly. there team jobs even available? Yeah, it's actually been eye-opening, and just to give any of you who are looking into travel some insight, there are jobs coming in. We had um, about a week window so far where we've had um, recruiters looking for us, and we had a couple team jobs open up, and definitely multiple individual jobs, and we are only one contract in from being new grads, so um, we're going to move because of the beat. So there are jobs out there. The market's starting market to pick up. market is starting up. to pick up. So if you're looking to get into it, just so that you know, that's been our experience. So, so I did have an interview with um, a possible place we could go. Um, currently, it's just one job. The few team jobs that were available were um, probably a little bit out of our range uh, distance-wise. And so... But I did interview for a job, and it's looking promising. In the future, that might... Uh, might be our next location. Yeah. So, oh. season two. Woohoo! What All is right. it gonna be? Let's go see some more animals. Well, there is a lot of bison at the bison you range. Definitely see some. We're here at the hottest time of day, in the middle of the summer, and we've seen like three or four herds. Tons of bison. Really cool. And they're rolling around in the dirt. <laughs> yeah. The, the cool dirt. And they're big. Their heads are huge. Even seeing some some baby bison out there. They're still huge. And they're still huge. <laughs> so we're glad that we went right. It was really, really cool. And we saw tons and tons of bison. Um, there weren't really places to picnic. I think the picnic area is closed. It's a little turnoff we, we could normally take if it was open. Um, so you might want to bring snacks in the car, but there's not really places to turn off and actually picnic and eat. And you're actually supposed to stay in your vehicle or near your vehicle. Especially, it says in your vehicle while in motion or staying near your vehicle if you get out. And then there are designated hiking spots you can take, but it's so hot today we did not hike. So, um, come visit. Oh, I really did see a bear. <laughs> I think Megan was right. So she was talking about, oh, I saw something black when we first entered the park and we're just now at the entrance leaving. And there was a bear on the side of the road. A little black bear. A little black bear. Uh, so we got to see a bear. Yeah! Kind of down here near the stream um, and, and where the shade is. I think it kind of skipped, hopped, and jumped back in the... Yeah, it did. It kind of took off. We tried not to scare it too much. Well, thank you all for watching our vlog. We really appreciate it. We also appreciate if you guys would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoy our content or this video. And that just shows us that we need to make more content. And, and let us really know if you come here and uh, what cool animals you saw. We really wanted to see a bear and there's wolves here. Yeah. Wolves as well. We didn't see either of those. Um, so let us know if you do. Yeah. And so until next time. See, see ya. ya. Well, we went from not seeing any bears to seeing three, three bears right at the entrance. And so we saw one that kind of scattered off into the woods that I'm pretty sure Megan saw when we first got in here. Mm -hmm. And then we were literally outside the gates and we saw people lining up uh, to look at something on the side of the road. And there was a little mama bear and her cub um, eating berries, really pulling that tree, breaking the tree off so the berries were low so the baby could get them. Yeah, um, it so was really cute. cool to watch. Uh, we just got to pull off on the side of the road and just kind of watch for a while. That was pretty pretty neat. We have some locals that I work with who've been here for a couple years and they say they haven't even seen any bears. Wow. So. 
We're very fortunate. 